leave it alone, she'll stop screaming at me. Because right now my hair hates me and it, it's turned its back on me and that's just how I feel about it. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm basically going to be sharing with you guys my hair rant. Um, lately, I have been extremely, extremely, extremely frustrated with my hair. How do you say that? I just, I don't know, I just feel like my hair has reached this stage where I feel like it's not growing. I feel like there's nothing, absolutely nothing I can do about single strand knots. I feel like it is extremely dry and I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like my hair is just turning against me. First things first, I feel like it's not growing. I feel like no matter what I do, it's just at the same length and I'm starting to get a little scared, kind of concerned because when I stretch my hair, my hair is now at the length that it was when I was relaxed and when I was relaxed, that's pretty much how far my hair would grow. So when I started this whole natural hair journey because my hair just wasn't growing relaxed and so now I'm kind of concerned that my, my hair won't grow any far, further than it already is as natural. So I don't know what it is. Granted, I have been like trimming my hair probably a little bit more than normal because that brings me to my second point. These single strand knots, they just like they won't go away and I feel like there's way more than it was my first when I was doing wash and goes, I was experiencing a ton of single strand knots. So I stopped and I started wearing my hair in stretched out styles more often and that worked. But I feel like my hair is so used to being stretched out that these single strand knots are coming back and they're coming back badder than ever. Like it's so bad to the point where I literally just told myself I'm not going to trim my hair that often because they're just going to keep coming back. and I'm gonna trim my hair and it's gonna be shorter and shorter and shorter and then I'm brings me to point number one where I feel like my hair isn't growing because of these stupid shingle strand knots and I'm trying I'm steadily trying to get rid of them and they're not going anywhere so yeah I, I don't know I don't know third I feel like I don't know you know you watch these YouTubers, and I'm not saying because I know in my natural hair go video I said that I wasn't going to envy hair. I'm not, this is not more of an envy hair. This is a more of a when they wash their hair and when they style their hair, their hair looks healthy all the time. My hair does not like, I don't care, like my hair right now does not look healthy. I can wash it, I can style it, and right then it looks good, but then the moment it dries, it just, it just looks dry all the time. Uh, it makes me regret coloring my hair. I absolutely love my color. No, it did not change my hair texture, but I feel like in the beginning, I couldn't really tell the difference, but I feel like now that the color has been in my hair longer, granted, I kind of neglected my hair these last two, two and a half months because I was studying for a bar, but I feel like this color has just made my hair more so look dry all the time even like sometimes I'll touch my hair and I could feel that it's moisturized but it just looks drier and then when I had my dark hair my black hair my natural black hair I felt like when it was dry I could get away because it still looks shiny because black hair just typically looks healthier and so I'm kind of missing my black hair I'm not going to dye my hair again so I'm not going to dye the black back I'm just going to try to let this grow out and trim it trim the color out but I probably won't be dyeing my hair again because yeah I just how I feel about my hair is just not good right now um I feel like it should be a lot farther than it is I will be two years natural completely natural in October so that means I would have been for I will have worth two two years and ten months worth of new growth that is about three years and I feel like my hair is not absolutely not where it should be for worth three years worth of growth then which brings me to point number four I feel like a lot of reason why I feel this way is because filming basically trying to come up with hairstyles for you guys it feel like it makes me always in my hair and so a lot of me it's just 
going to start expanding my channel to do different stuff just so I could give my hair a break because it's like yeah I want to make these natural hair videos for you guys but I start this natural hair journey for me and I'm not going bald to make some videos like that's just not gonna happen and so I think I'm going to kind of take a step back I hope to get more into some more protective style type videos that way I can be doing like natural hair and protective styles at the same time but think I'm going to back up I know a lot of you guys want me to do a curly hair routine um, basically just another wash and go but it ain't really changed so I don't know I just really don't want to do my hair which explains why I have this scarf on my hair is literally in twist and I put this scarf on and I'm just hoping that maybe if my I just leave it alone she'll stop screaming at me because right now my hair hates me and it, it's turned its back on me and that's just how I feel about it so yeah this is just a frustration video a rant i had to get it off my chest i want you guys to know that it's not always always good on this end and if you guys feel this way thumbs up the video if you have some frustrations about your hair leave them down below because you never know it might help somebody else who feels like they're doing something wrong and maybe our frustrations maybe we just not alone in our frustrations so yeah um i hope you guys enjoy this video and i will see you guys in my next one Bye.